Hello YouTube, in this discussion about how to spot a fake Nelly, I want to tackle a subject or topic that you've heard a thousand times because it's the one that people tend to focus on when they try to decipher if someone is on PDs or not, and that is visual cues. And for me, the reason why people focus so much on that is because one, it's easy to show on camera or in photos, and it's the low bro approach to that because it tends to be very, very easy to spot with your bare eyes. That being said, because it's supposedly so easy, it also creates a lot of confusion in people because a lot of the arguments that are being advanced are vascularity or you know certain size and all of these qualities exist in natural. And so in the head of people, they end up attributing things that are just normal to PED use and they fail to understand why their assessment is not valid. And there's a lot of people who do Nadi or not videos who base 100% of their argument around these visual cues and it's the reason why their videos are worthless because they fail to understand the reason beyond the visual cues and that's what I want to discuss today. So if you watch the title of the video, if you check it, you'll see that I define what I'm going to express in this video by a general nastiness of the complexion. What I mean by that is me and some people have the ability with our bare eyes in a few seconds to see if someone is natural or not, especially if they're shirtless. And a lot of people think they have that ability, but they don't. They tend to be beginners, they tend to be new to the gym, they tend to be skinny, they are very jealous, they have a lot of resentment in their heart, and therefore anyone who's big is on PED. doesn't work like that. You can be big and natural, you can be shredded and natural, but there are certain little details that people with experience will be able to see. It's like a special power. We have the ability in our pupils to, to, to see the PED through the bones. And I'm going to share it with you. So there are a few things. Um, the things that people focus on, like acne or back knee, I think are valid. There are certain people who are natural and who have these things, but cases of back knee that are very bad and aggravated, that pop out out of nowhere when someone also suddenly gets big, tends to be the result of an hormonal imbalance, and that's the sign of PED use. You can have bad acne and also be natural, as I said. You also have the losing your hair, which is also a sign because of the androgen uh, uh, activity. But even that, you can lose your hair if you're natural. So all of that thing, do things I'm going to leave it on the side. Rather, I want to focus on peculiarities that you might have, you yourself, noticed, but you couldn't really put a finger on it. And I'm going to tell you. So one thing that I've noticed personally is the color of the skin. You see a certain reddish color to people who take PEDs. And that is associated with high blood pressure. And it's associated also with high hemocrit levels, meaning that they have a lot of red cells because they take products that tend to really boost their levels. And that color tends to be spread out throughout the body, meaning that You'll meet people sometimes who have a lot of uh, capillar uh, capillaries in their face and therefore they are always red. And that has a, a condition, it has a name, but it tends to only be located in the face. PD users have that all over their body. They have what I call the lobster body, meaning that even if they haven't been in the sun, even if they, are, they don't have a pump, they just look red at all times. So that's a dead giveaway. And then in terms of visual cues for the body, something that I've always noticed too is the way the muscles look. I think that it's a universal experience. We can tell when a muscle is enhanced. And a lot of people are at a loss for why. They just know. They couldn't explain to you why, but they see a guy and they're like, oh, he's on PEDs. And that guy might even not that be that big. He might not even be that ripped, but you just know that this is not natural muscle. And I think that I know why. The reason why is those guys who take PEDs, depending on the product they take, they tend to accumulate a lot of muscle, but the muscle doesn't go hand in hand with uh, subcutaneous fat, meaning that not only do they not go through the natural process of naturals who build muscle and the fat surrounds the muscle to make it stronger and more resilient, they build muscle and on top of that, their body sheds that fat because it doesn't discriminate. So they end up with a muscle that looks extremely close to the skin. Like there's absolutely no water or fat in between the two. There's no layer of fat. And that's a dead giveaway that gives it that aspect. You can immediately tell. And on top of that, 
they tend to have lower intramuscular fat, so the muscle looks impossibly hard, meaning that as a natural, you'll be big, you can be decently lean, but if you flex, even if you have a big arm, you'll still see that this doesn't look super hard. It is to an extent, but there's a lot of water and fat in there because the muscle wants that. It accumulates that to stay stronger and to stay growing in a sense. But PD users don't need that. They got the, the drugs to grow that type of muscle for them. So they also have a very low amount of body fat in that uh, area. So that's why it looks so strange. And then you also have the development of certain body parts. And that again is also widely spoken about like the big traps, the big shoulders, and the reason why is because those muscles respond very well to anabolic steroids, especially androgens, because there's a lot of androgen receptors in those, uh, in those uh, specific areas of the body and those muscle groups. That being said, to me, that's not the dead giveaway, because you can build decently big shoulders and traps as a natural. I think the dead giveaway, rather, is the fact that these areas are overdeveloped. That's where there's an issue, because you rarely see that with natural. As a natural, your body works in a kinetic chain. So if you train your shoulders, all the muscles are going to grow with it. So if you do a ton of presses, you'll have decent triceps as well. You're not just going to have bolder shoulders and then tiny little triceps. You see that with enhanced guys, because certain muscles are going to blow up out of nowhere, and the rest, even if it's big, tends to not be able to catch up as quick. So that's also a dead giveaway because the body works in a chain. As I said, there are very few muscles that you can train without having an antagonistic muscle train as well. So for example, if you see someone who has massive biceps and very tiny inner forearms, that's strange because you really cannot isolate only the bicep. So those are irregularities. And I've always found interesting the fact that we are so good at catching them, but we're not super good at explaining why. And I think that that's one. So these are, for me, things that I can immediately tell when I look at someone. And to me, they're dead giveaways, meaning that since I cannot find any other rational explanation as to why someone who's natural would have these side effects, I tend to always assume the people who are like this use PEDs. And for the intramuscular fat, something that I also want to, uh, to mention is you see these guys who do bulking cycles on PEDs and they gain a lot of mass, but it tends to look inflated meaning that it is fat and water, but the way the fat and water is distributed just makes no sense. They tend to look like someone inflated their shoulders and arms out of nowhere, and that's with wet compounds in general. And of course, they also get uh, visceral fat, but the way the fat looks on the upper body doesn't look natural at all. It's that, it's that bulky 3D effect out of nowhere, and that's because the way the water retention is dictated by the PD use is completely different to a natural, meaning that the, mu the muscle is going to retain a lot more water and therefore is going to look much fuller. So that to me is also a dead giveaway. And that's pretty much what I have for you. When it comes to complexion, I pretty much base my assessment of someone being naive or not on that, and then all of the other topics I discussed in this series. So if you have your own signs that you want to discuss in the comments, let me know, let's share it's not necessarily super important to know if someone is naughty or not because you should focus on you. But at the end of the day, if you're going to take advice from someone, you ought to know if they're doing drugs or not. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.